Answer me this though, Mobo. When it comes to the homage and the respect, man, do you feel like your people pay the homage and the respect that you deserve for what you did in your town? If they did, I wouldn't be here right now. Mm. That's why I'm here right now. Yeah. Because it seemed like, you know, it don't bother me, but I got fangs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're going to talk about the Glorella situation with yeah. my song. Yeah. Because a fan out of Charleston, South Carolina, mm -hmm. text me that night mm -hmm. at 12, 47. They must have dropped the video at 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. I go to sleep early. When I wake up the next day, I see the text. Mm -hmm. He said, he sent me the tomorrow video clip mm -hmm. on Facebook. Yeah. And at the bottom, I'm going to show it to my phone. It said, Streets of the West Bank. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They took my song. I get the morning. I, I hit him 100. I really don't read it yeah. because I got so many people be sending me stuff. Later that night, you know what I'm saying? I know we're going into a whole double butcher call, but yeah. we're about to get on it. Yeah. So later that night, about 7 o'clock, 9 o'clock, the lady who be doing my publishing and, and run my social media, she said, Joe, mm -hmm. she said, you see what that guy from Charleston was telling you? I said, no, he said, they're telling you that the glow relative them stole your song. Mm. I'm like, what? So when I went back and I listened to it, I seen what he was saying. Yeah. So I um I hit him up. I said, man, um, thank you, because I didn't catch it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I said, send me your address, come on, send you some some merch and stuff. Yeah. He said, yeah, OG. And I show you all on my phone. He said, yeah, man, they gotta pay homage. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Pay money, pay, cause you could have you could have got a license deal, cause my stuff was right there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like I say, he said, man, they gotta pay homage, bro. Like my fans yeah. know my music better than me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They know. Like soon when he heard it, boom. Man, Peace God. of the West Bank. Yeah. That's you, OG. Yeah. He got paid. Then people went to blowing me up. Like, man, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? Then on a the slick. She even much took his style. Like, we listen to how he flow mm. and how glow flowing. It's the same thing. My God. It's the same, it's the same thing. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, even when I see Doc, I don't really sing, I don't watch TV a lot. But people see Doc remember, like, one of my friends, he called me one time. He said, Man, I'm pissed off, Mo. I said, What's wrong? You know? He said, I just watch a whole documentary. And they talk about every label in New Orleans. And they ain't mention you. Mm. I say, wow, bro. You know what I'm saying? They motherfucker all, love to do that shit. Yeah, they try to wipe me out because I'm like, <laughs> okay, how y'all get from 92 and you got Big Boy and No Limit, but you ain't got mobile. When it was Cash Money Records and Mobile Records, mm -hmm. receives the history, don't lie. Yeah. I can name their first stuff. I can name my first stuff. Yeah. If you look at what I was doing, that's why they give me the pioneer of gangster rap. The people give me that. Yep. I didn't. I read that online, mm -hmm. but I know why. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I know why, but they don't pay homage, and that's why I'm here right now. You know what I'm saying? I reached out to to, to their lawyers. They first they tried to deny, but then they tried to lowball me. But then they don't want what you call them. Now they they don't want to respond. So now I got to go through a file a lawsuit. Mm. I got to come on different podcasts and show the world where it come from mm -hmm. to get my respect, to get my image. I just want me. You know what I'm saying? If me and you and Face go in a deal yeah. and we got a pie, all I want my slice. I don't want B slice. I don't want Face slice. I just want mine, bro. I don't eat that much. Can't I can make blame it on you. mine. Can't nobody blame you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But... What I look at with my with my music history is kind of like how they did us as a race. They just try to wipe us out. They tell us we come from over here, we come from all over there. Yeah. It's just, it's the same way with the music. Yeah. If they was paying homage and respecting, you know what I'm saying, I wouldn't have to do this. But the people see like in the industry that know they're scared to say it. You know what I'm saying? Like Ross is five nine. He did a post a little while back on a post. He said it the best. Mm -hmm. He said, he put up this album cover. He said, these are the flows I listen to. Mm. 
that people don't talk about, mm. that rappers don't want you to know they was expired by. 